When you think of Mother's Day, a couple of things probably come to mind. Think flowers, jewelry, and as far as food goes, cake. But that's not quite the case on Father's Day. Instead, it's all about things like gadgets, neckties, and savory meals like steak. It got us wondering why that is the case, and we are on a mission to find out why. But first, believe it or not, countries around the world celebrate Mother's Day on different dates. Here in the Philippines, it even used to be observed on the first Monday of December. You heard that, right? In the early 20th century, school kids would put Cadena de Amor flowers on their chest during this day. Countrywide events were held and husbands gave gifts to their wives. This tradition went on until 1988, when President Corazon Aquino issued a proclamation moving Mother's Day to the first Sunday of May, aligning the Philippines with the U.S. Come 1998, President Estrada would revert this holiday back to being held on the first Monday of December. Still, Filipinos today celebrate Mother's Day and Father's Day during May and June respectively. Today, when it comes to celebrating Mother's Day and Father's Day, one of the first things that come to mind is probably food. What's interesting though, is that there's a difference between the foods you'd usually associate with the two occasions. To get a better idea of why this is the case, we spoke to Professor Bel Duwaki of De La Salle University and Chrissy Palmatanko, marketing head of Bizu Patisserie, to share the sociological and marketing points of view respectively. I believe women in general, well, mothers in general, are ha, have a majority of you know presence in everyone's life, and so um, celebrations are always marked with with a cake, something pretty, something sweet. So the traditional stereotypical roles between mother and father stem from the division of labor that was entrenched when societies evolved towards capitalism or. The industrial stage. Cakes are associated with Mother's Day because cakes being sweet is a type of food that is linked to femininity and therefore women. And historically, uh, men had derided sentimentalization during their special, their own special days. Besides, they feel that they're going to pay for these expenses, so they don't like the commercial nature uh, that is attached to the celebration. So, cakes being a symbol of femininity, along with flowers, um, drawings, plants, uh, are usually given to mothers on their special day. Well, Bizu, Bizu has been in business for 23 years um, right now. So, you know, uh, Mother's Day has always been our peak season. So, it's been more than 23 years that it's been going on, um, as I would believe it to be. Um, so I think, yeah, they've been advertising it this way for way before. And, you know, it took the whole world or, you know, the whole world to recognize Father's Day 60 years, right? So the whole world or the people were, you know, have thought of, you know, had 60 years to really drill people in. Oh, Mother's Day, there's a demand for for celebrations and gifts. And, and we're not just talking about food gifts, you know. I know there's a spike as well in terms of retail, right? There's always a spike, not in just food, but, you know, the whole gifting thing is such a big deal for, for, um, for Mother's Day. Femininity and manliness are social constructs. And you facilitate the social construction of manliness and femininity by this conscious selection of, of, of food associated with special holidays for mothers and fathers. Also, not only about gender, it also has economic uh, implications. It's like a second Christmas for men. So Father's Day benefits from this so-called holiday economics where mall owners or shopkeepers consciously not sell men's accessories and items like golf clubs, uh, ties, socks, wallets, pens that are associated with what is masculine. Now there's nothing wrong with celebrating Mother's Day with cakes and Father's Day with steaks. But you don't have to be limited to these either. Ultimately, these associations are social conventions and not set in stone. Why not try giving dad a cake and mom a steak for a change? <laughs>